Hello, I am Surya and in this video we are going to learn about optic disc localization in retinal images using histogram matching. This is the work by Emin and his colleagues. So retinal image is a digital image of the retina, blood vessels and the optic nerve which, which are located at the back of your eye. They are used to detect many dreadful diseases. Uh, and this is the optic disc. And uh, uh, finding the optic disc is critical for most applications. And this is done in two steps. First, it is localized, which is finding the approximate location of this uh, of this disc. And next, we detect, which is finding the exact size, shape, and everything else. Uh, so we first form a default template, and then compare this default template with a new image to find the optic disc. And this is how we create a default template by these four steps. First, you blur your image with a six by six window. Then you extract an 80 by 80 optic, di optic disc, which is a, a window which I'm showing here with my cursor, which is approximately of this size. And then for this window, you what you would do is you would extract the components red, green, and blue and store their histogram separately. And you do this for all images in the data set and take their average. So you have an average estimate of the histograms of all the optic discs. So now when you have a new image, you apply these steps. First, you blur the image using a 6x6 six six window, which is to remove the noise. Then you use an 80x80 80 80 sliding window for each of the, uh, uh, you use an 80x80 80 80 sliding window, which is something of this size. And by a sliding window, what I mean is that this window keeps moving along this. We're gonna code that and I'm gonna show how it works in the code. Mm. And as it keeps moving along for each window, we calculate uh, uh, a parameter which I'm going to show in the next slide. So if the window is somewhere here or anywhere in this image, what we would do is we would extract red, green and blue values and store their histograms. And then we compare the histogram that we get for this sub window and our default our default template which we have already so stored so that would be bi and this would be ai and for each channel that is for red channel blue gran channel and green channel we calculate this parameter one by one plus sigma of the differences in pixels whole square and uh, we find the combined c value for red green and blue using this tr uh, this is a plus here i'm sorry so tr tg and tb are just constants which you weigh uh, so that you get optimal results and while comparing the histograms here you only consider the values from 1 to 200 but not from 1 to 255 because that was what was found out by aman in his research uh, that uh, the answers uh, the results come optimal that way so the maximum value of C would be at the center of the disk. We would calculate this and see where the maximum value is and that should be at the center of the disk. And for more uh, uh, for more details, just go to this link, uh, which is also in the description below. So this is the code I wrote for the algorithm. Uh, so we have two functions here. One is to create the template and the second is to extract the optic disk. So let us start with the uh, uh, let us start with creating the template. Just run this part of the code, which is just reading the image and then show, uh, displaying it using IM tool. Copy, paste, enter. So I can see the image here. If I zoom in, this is the optic disc. Now you can see that the approximate size of the optic disc is 80 by almost. 80 right so the size of the optic disc is almost 80 by 80 and then i would carefully choose an 80 by 80 window here and then crop the optic disc and double click to get that image and i would save this as oh sorry you can ex uh, export this thing to your workspace saying export to workspace and then just name it as cropped right 
and then after you name it as cropped you would run this this part of the code just copy this and paste paste it here i already did it so i'm not doing it again but make sure that your cropped is 80 by 80 that your cropped image is of size 80 by 80 and then you just copy this and then paste it here uh, so what happened what's happening here is that this is th uh, here you're extracting the red part here you're extracting green you're extracting blue and then you are saving the uh, the histogram values that you get from rgb into this template data with variable names counts one counts two and counts three now c let us come to the main function let me run and show you how this works so this is the result i got after running the code the center of the optic disk is detected so let us run through the code line by line uh, let me keep a breakpoint and let us debug so run now in the starting we are loading the template data which are counts 1 counts 2 counts 3 which were created previously then we set the template size and three of uh, all these three are the weighing parameters for channels red green and blue which are used at the end for the determination of the value of c of i comma j um in the next step you read the image and then you define uh, an averaging function and then you filter b with this uh, of of size 6 and then you fil filter a with h to get the blurred image so if we see b i'm not sure if you can see uh, find this in the video but this image is blurred compared to the previous main image next uh, so you're just defining some variables and c this is the value that uh, this is the value that we have seen c of i comma j that is this function that is this matrix and it is created of this size and this uh, uh, this loop is for the sliding window you're starting at 1 comma 1 which is the top left corner and you keep increasing to the bottom right uh, so inside this loop this is the sub window where b is the full image and b temp is the sub window and in inside the sub window we're uh, extracting red green and blue and then we are also taking their histogram values as c1 c2 and c3 next what we are doing is uh, is uh, trying to find the value of this function which is sigma i of a i minus b i whole square i am calling it as sum 1 here so for the red channel sum 1 equal to 0 and then i find the sum by subtracting them squaring them and then you get cr by 1 by 1 plus sum right so i did that and then you do the same for all the three channels and then finally you use this weighing function to get c of i comma j and to find the center i also see i also created this loop where which can find the maximum value of c of i comma j and after uh, all this processing which takes um, more than a minute you can see that uh, i'm just plotting a holding it on and then uh, j max and i max are the top left corners of my window so the center of the window would be plus template size by 2 and plus template size by 2 at that point i'm putting a marker which is of marker size 12 and line width 2 i hope you like the video you can find the code and other resources in the description below